Hey guys, welcome back. It is 4th of July week, and we're here with another one of our crafts. We're painting a flag. Okay, see what our flag looks like, so. All right. So, but we're doing this a little bit different than just a normal painting, because we're using pop -Up. And then we're using uh, clothes pins to hold them. So, so I'm going to start off because we have the rectangle up here where that is blue. So be, make it a little easier. I'm just going to draw that. You don't have to if you don't want to. That's up to you. All right. Side. And I'm going to start with the blue paint and I'll explain to you um, the reason I started with the blue was I ended up painting this whole area blue and then coming back over after it dries a little bit and put the white dots for the stars. Um, the white stripes are just the actual paper. So you take any one of your pom poms doesn't matter and you're just gonna dab it in the paint and then tap it on your paper and we're gonna try to get this whole that whole section blue Blue. And if you get too much paint somewhere, you just dab your pom pom in it and you know, soak some of that up and you can spread it to other areas where it's still white. Okay. So, as you can see, I've got the blue part up here. I'm gonna go to the red. We're gonna let that dry a little bit so we can do the white stars like I mentioned earlier. I need a little bit more of the red than I do the blue. You don't need that much. So then I'm gonna grab my next color, and which is the red, and then just start tapping it and making stripes. All I'm gonna do uh, this flag does have 13 stripes, but if you can't fit 13 in, that's okay. Just get as many as you can. <laughs> adding the lines in right now. I can go back and fill in any holes or anything in a minute or you can do it as you go, whichever way you prefer to do it. Or if a line ends up looking too thin, you go back over and to look. Paper up just a little bit. Get this 
edge real good. If you got any areas where the paint's kind of thick, you can just go over it with the thing and dab it a little bit and pick up some of that paint and put it in some place where you need a little bit more. have 50 dots or 50 stars we're making dots the flag has got stars and the stars represent the 50 states but I know my first one I didn't fit 50 in there and I'm probably not gonna fit 50 in here I'm not even really counting it I'm just kind of kind of space my Dots out about the same, so it looks good. So if you wanted to try to get 50, go ahead. All right. So that is what I ended up with. This is a fun project. It's kind of neat to paint. A different style than just always using a paintbrush. I, I really enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Thanks guys. <laughs>